I'm here in the beautiful Victoria Park, right in the center of Truro, Nova Scotia, and I'm going to show you why this park is so special. One of the biggest highlights of this park, and one of the reasons why most people come here, is for the waterfalls. As you can see behind me, right here, this is one of the waterfalls that you'll see at the beginning of the hike. It's probably two minutes away from the entrance of the park. If we go further down, you'll start to see some of the other waterfalls that are much more spectacular than this, and they are the main attractions of the park. We'll also come across Jacob's Ladder and a few other very nice areas that look honestly very serene when you get to them. now come across Jacob's Ladder. This is a very, very long staircase, which let me tell you, it's on a pretty steep hill. I believe it totals 175 steps. So 175 steps from the bottom to the top. It is one hell of a workout. It's on a pretty good incline and the decline is no more friendly than the incline. So if you want to have a good workout, this is probably one of the best spots in the park to do so. And going up there, you will also uh, come across some wooden stairways and wooden pathways that will lead you to some of the other waterfalls that are along this path. So it's well worth the climb up and it is well worth exploring further through Jacob's Ladder. We're not going to be doing that today. We're going to be going further down this path and we're going to get to some of the waterfalls through another method. Now we've come across another very important section of the park. Right behind me there is a little uh, pagoda area and there is a miniature holy shrine. I believe it's just a recreation of a shrine that was once here through the park. There's a few others throughout the town. So if you want to come down here, please come visit this. It is significant to the park. And it's also a very nice area to just kind of take a break while you're on your way to the waterfalls. As you can see behind me, the path starts to go from a nice gravel and dirt path down to the wooded pathways that they have throughout the park. Now, you'll also see the wooden trails here go up the side of the, the mountain or rather the hillside area and that will continue throughout the rest of the park. So from here the trails get a little bit more difficult, there's a little bit more of an incline but they're not really that difficult especially if you're sticking to the main trail. Once you start going off the main trail and you start headed towards some of the other areas you'll see signs saying uh, which area you're going into and you'll also see if it's increasing in difficulty or staying the same. Needless to say it is a great park and we'll continue exploring down here and we'll get further and further into it. We're gonna go see I believe it's the Joe Howe Falls right after this and I'll explain after we see the falls some important things about what's going on over there. had at the time. He also turned into a politician later on, 
throughout his career, and they've named this waterfall after him, the pavilion behind me, and many other sites around Nova Scotia are named after him, including a building at the Dalley Sea Campus, not too far from this location. started to rain and I'm not going to want to get my camera equipment wet so I have other footage from the park from another day so I will insert all of that into there and into the video so you guys can see what the Waddell Falls looks like. I will also insert some of the photos that I photographed today so that you can see what the falls looks like and what the rest of the park looks like but I just wanted to mention quickly some of the other activities you could do here at the park. Now at the main entrance, there are a few playgrounds for kids. There is a amphitheater portion and a nice little ball diamond that you can play ball at. So there's different activities you could do. They also have screen time. I don't remember what it's called, but they will actually bring out a projector and a projector screen and show movies later on at night for the kids. This typically happens in the summertime, so the best time to visit definitely would be late spring to all the way out to late summer. If you wanted to come for the changing of the leaves and the fall season, you should definitely be coming around October. That would give you probably the best time, maybe mid-October to late October, that would give you the best time between um, the, the fall season and the winter season to see all the leaves changing. There will also be enough leaves on the ground to make gorgeous photos, so it's definitely something you should come see. If you are in Truro, even in the winter, this is basically at the end of winter and start of spring, this is what the park would look like. There may also be times where there's a lot of snow on the ground. We do get hit with quite a few storms here, including hurricanes and blizzards. So just expect there to be wet ground and snowy grounds depending on what time of year you're coming. Speaking of blizzards though, there was a blizzard that happened sometime in the middle of winter this past year and the park looked absolutely beautiful so don't sleep on the winter trails here. They are very very nice to see and very very nice to photograph. Now about the hurricanes there are some areas in the park that are damaged from hurricanes. In fact in 2012 I believe a hurricane came through here I could be wrong on the date, but there was a, a pretty significant portion of the park that was damaged and they are reconstructing it, like I said previously. I will show you some of the damage here as well, just talking and kind of going through some of it, but you could see some of the older trails where some of the older growth was have collapsed and there are plenty of logs and trees that have come over and destroyed some of the pathways. So the park commission is trying to fix that. So that's all for today, and I hope you enjoyed this. I will be doing some more videos coming soon.